Hey what's happening guys I'm your tech helper and today I'll show you that how you can root your Xperia SP if you are on firmware 4.3 this is for locked bootloaders but uh, you'll have to unlock bootloader because you can't install a kernel if you have a locked bootloader so I'll show you that my phone has a locked bootloader you can see that root Routing status is bootloader unlocked allowed yes which means that I have a locked bootloader so what you gonna need is first download the stock firmware and uh, all the things I'll just write them in the description then go to google and write unlock bootloader go to the sony mobile website don't read them just click start unlocking the bootloader again continue agree the legal terms terms now write your name imei and email email should be valid and imei should be of 14 digits 14 digits i'll write in in the description power of your phone but first go to flash tool click this blu button and uh, power of your phone to connect it into flash mode for connecting into flash mode hold the volume down button and uh, plug in the usb cable So I have done it. You can see that it's saying unlock. I click it and uh, unlock finished. You can see here. Close the box and uh, disconnect the device and start it. I also have Phil's recovery installed. You can also install it once you root your phone. I'll put a link in the description. You need root only. Not matter if you have a locked bootloader or an unlocked bootloader. I'll show you that my bootloader has been now unlocked. This is the number. Note it down. Go to service info. Configuration. You can see bootloader unlocked. Yes. Which means that bootloader is unlocked. And I can install a kernel. And... Uh, my device is rooted but I'll just I'm just showing you a tutorial. You will also have to download a super su.zip like I have one here. Now also download a Doomlord Advanced Stock Kernel. I'll have a link in the description below. So now here is the kernel doom lord kernel thanks to him now power off your phone go to fast boot mode in flash tool go to desktop and select the extension dot elf you can see that here is the kernel now connect your phone into fast boot mode but be sure that you have your phone's generic stock firmware so that if anything goes wrong you can flash it so for going into fast boot mode hold the volume up button and plug in the USB cable 
a blue light the a blue led light will light up notifying that the phone is connected in fast boot mode open the kernel and uh, it will install the kernel you can see zero bad blocks encountered unplug your phone power it on and keep pressing the volume up button to enter into clockwork clockwork mode so i am here so go to install zip choose zip from sd card wherever you have stored it select the zip and install it it's installed go back and reboot your system or phone So it will say Android is upgrading. Now I'll show you that device has been rooted successfully. So the bootloader is still unlocked and uh, I'll just show you that bootloader is still unlocked but first you will have to go into flash mode and uh, install your stock kernel just untick the boxes I am unticking. Okay, let's look. Untick the boxes and three contents should be there: kernel, loader, and FOTA kernel, FOTA kernel, and flash it. Connect your phone into flash mode by holding down the volume button and plugging, plugging the USB cable in so you can see it has started flashing power on your phone and you will see that Talk kernel has been flashed or installed. I'll just skip the booting apart. So now the phone has been booted up. I'll show you that we have root still and uh, I'll show you that how you can relock your bootloader again if you want to because it's all up to you if you want you can lock your bootloader Connect your phone into flash mode and uh, click relock. So it will say that relock finished. Close it. Unplug your phone.
the phone has been powered on now i'll show you that the bootloader has been locked again dial that number go to service info go to configuration and you will see that bootloader unlocked allowed is yes so this makes the locked bootloader of your phone so be sure to subscribe and like the video thanks for watching